In this example, we're now going to include the universe. And the universal set is the set that contains all elements. So that's basically saying that every single part of this question is taken care of by you, the universe. And then P and Q are part of the entire question. So when we have a question where the universe is also included, we must draw a rectangle. That's going to show that everything in this question is taken care of within this a rectangle. So we're going to draw our two circles as usual. We're going to label them P and Q and we're going to draw our rectangle and because this is the universe we're going to label it with U. Now we need to look at what the universe and P and Q are actually represented by in this question. So one tip that I would say for this is down below let's just write down what U, P and Q actually represent. So the universe, the universal set is the natural numbers less than 10. Now we know natural numbers are all numbers from one above whole numbers so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The next thing we'll write down is what is represented by the set P. So P is multiples of 3 that are less than 10. So that's going to be 3, 6 and 9. And then finally Q is the even natural numbers less than 10. So that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8 and we're done. So the next step is exactly the same as what we've done before. We need to fill in the intersection or the part where P and Q uh, intersect. So basically what they have in common. So looking at P and looking at Q, let's see what they have in common. So I can see that they have a 6 in common and that's it. So we're going to go up to our Venn diagram and we're going to fill 6 into the intersection. Then we're going to fill in the rest of P, which is 3 and 9. And now we're going to fill in the rest of Q, which is 2, 4, and 8. A lot of people stop there, but we've got one extra step to complete now. We need to make sure that every single part of our universe is taken care of. So let's have a look through our universal set and see if we need to add any anything in to the universal set. So the number 1, is that already in P and Q? No, it's not. So I'm actually going to fill in the number 1 up here. Number 2 is already included. Number three included, number four is there, number five is not, so let's fill that in. Number six is included, number seven is not, so again that's going to go on the outside. Number eight and number nine are taken care of, so we have now completed the question where all of the elements in our universal set have now been uh, drawn onto our Venn diagram. So moving on, let's have a go at another question where we are given the universe and we're given A and B and we're asked to fill that onto a Venn diagram. Can you please have a go at this and pause the video and then I'll have the answer ready for you when you hit play. And that is our completed question. So you can see the in uh, intersection was filled in first, then the rest of A, then the rest of B. And then I did a quick check of the universal set and I filled in everything that was not included in A or B.